In the second item, we're asked to find the second limb of the area, the shaded area, with respect to the y-axis. This is key. It's the y-axis that we want, not the x-axis. Note that we have a shape that is composed of uh, several geometric shapes of which we already know the formulas for second moments of area. So rather than attempting to integrate, all we really need to do is this composite formulation. I've chosen to break this up into one entire big whole rectangle that is 4 inches by 9 inches and then cut out a rectangle 2 by 3, cut out a triangle that's 2 by 2 and remove a circle. And the centroidal distances from the y-axis then for each one of these shapes, the big one four and a half, this little two by three rectangle is 7.5, the shape number three, the triangle, is uh, five and one third, and then the circle has a two inch distance away from the uh, y-axis of interest. So we, although there are some ways we could make this a little bit uh, shorter, we won't, we won't do that. We will just go in the parallel axis theorem for each one. Rectangle is 1 12th of the base times the height cubed, where the base here is 2 inches. The height is 3 cubed, plus the area 2 times 3 times the distance that we're moving it, 4.5. Sorry, I'm doing the wrong one. That would have been the item number 2. So what I want to do here is change the numbers. That would be 1 12th of the base of 4 times the total height of 9. And then that will be 4 times 9. And then that's the correct D that goes along with that. That's the positive area. And then we're going to subtract off all of these other pieces. Now we'll do the rectangle. That's, that's the small one, 1 12th of 2 times the height cubed plus its area times the total distance that it was moved. And then we get the triangle with respect to its own centroid. That's 1 36 of the base of 2 times the height cubed plus then its area, 1 half of 2 times 2 times the distance it's moved. 5.33 squared, and then finally, the second moment of area for the circle, pi times the radius to the fourth over 4, plus its area times the distance that is being moved, squared, like so. And when we start to add up these numbers, then you'll end up with that first one being 972, and it'll subtract off a 4.5, a 337.5, a 0 .444, 56.888, plus a pi over 4 plus 4 times pi. This is all inches to the fourth. And the net on that will be about 559 inches to the fourth.